Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday, I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're excited for another speed build and for a nice relaxing weekend ahead. So for today we're working on another apartment and it's a bit of a change for today. We are doing six college girls. So I thought we would switch it up from lots of daughters to have something a bit contrasting, which I also really enjoy. You guys seem to enjoy it, so that's what we're doing today. So this is in quite a small apartment, so we do have very little rooms. Um, we only have one bathroom and three bedrooms, which, you know, considering it is such a small space, it's quite good that we did fit in three bedrooms, but it is a very tight squeeze because we do have to fit six girls in here who are adults, you know, they need their own space, but there really isn't much personal space at all because we all have to share this tiny, tiny living area. So with that being said, let's get on to the video. So currently we are working on the kitchen. I did slow down the footage a little bit for today as well. Let me know if you guys prefer it a bit slower or prefer it more sped up. Um, I think sometimes it's nice to have it a little bit slower so you can see what items I use and you know how I went about the build instead of it going through really fast. Um, so we are working on the apartment 1310 21 Chick Street. Um, I do like this apartment. I usually build in the coal peppers as you guys know but you know I like to switch up and we are living here for a change. I think the main living area turned out really nice. Of course I'd like it to be a little bit bigger. There wasn't much space not gonna lie. Um, we do have obviously a big kitchen area which is always nice um, but we could only fit in two chairs for like the bar stools because the other one would have been blocking the door so you know kind of annoying but it's fine um we don't have a dining area because of course it's really small and we only have a small living space um we do not have a tv but the girls do have tvs in their room two of the rooms do one of them doesn't but you know at least they've got some of their own space in their own individual rooms and i kind of find that in universities the like communal rooms don't always have a TV because the university has to pay for it unless like a student has moved their TV to the like, you know, communal rooms. So most of the time they do have their own individual TVs and not necessarily in the main space. So it kind of worked out. Um, although, you know, if I was to do this again, I'd probably like to try and find a way to include more of a interactive space. <coughs> but all is well. So I did include these cute little chairs, which I thought were really sweet. I really like the color scheme. Um, my voice went very high then, goodness. Um, I like how it turned out. I think it really matches well with this apartment because there's a lot of like bright colors, but kind of like pastel vibe as well. Um, just like neon pastel, if that makes sense. I don't know how you can be both, but somehow it is both. Um, it's pastel pop kit, most of the stuff is, some of it's tiny living as well. Um, and the rug is nifty knitting, which for some reason the rug disappeared at some point when I was recording. See, it just disappeared then and I was like, didn't I have a rug here? <laughs> so I did remember to put it back, but I was very confused. Some of the items keep disappearing, not too sure why, but not complaining really, because you know, it's fine. My game is functional. Some people have been saying online that the game isn't working and I can't afford for it not to work, honestly. Um, my sanity is on um, the brink of being not sane if I didn't have my sims. That was a great sentence, Laura. Um, but no, sims keeps me sane. It's my escape from everything I'm worrying about. Um, Miss Anxious over here. I'm a very much an overthinker, a very anxious bean, and sims keeps me sane. Um, so I'm very grateful that my game does work. However, I do feel sorry for the people whose games don't work because I don't know how I would cope without it some days. Sometimes when I'm building or in game, I'm like, I'm so glad I've got this world as like my escapism. Like nothing's terrible in real life. There have been times where I've gone through a lot, like IRL, and it's been my like, permanent escapism but I think just as an anxious person in general it's really good to have a place to go where you're not thinking um it doesn't have to be something specific that's worrying you and I know a lot of you guys feel like that as well um a lot of my similar friends are very anxious people and just having a distraction is just really helpful so I hope your guy your guys I hope you guys get your games to work if they're not working currently because it's just the worst when it doesn't so I completely feel for you um my best advice is to update 
as often as you can because yesterday it was worse than it is today and that's because the update came while I was in game so it was a bit glitchy here and there um, and then also if you guys use mods or CC then that's gonna make it harder for you so I don't personally use mods or CC because of that reason and I don't want to mess up my computer um, I used to be CC obsessed I used to love it I've never used mods but I did used to have some custom content <laughs> some my entire game was custom content um, but no, I don't use it anymore, so I'm not the best to ask for advice on that. However, um, definitely update because that is the main, like, crux of the problem. Um, yeah, so that is what helped me yesterday because it was a bit laggy here and there, but you know, it's okay today. Fortunately, we didn't have any recording issues, as you guys know if you watched yesterday's video. My video wasn't recording. Why? I don't know. When I press the button I usually do to record, nothing happened. Um, so that was fun. Not. And then my um, video in the editing software, in the middle of editing, just decided to go, oh, I'm going to buffer now, and then it didn't work. So that was brilliant. Um, but yeah, so that was an exciting day, but at least it's still working today. Um, although I am still going to keep the voiceover quite short for today because I am not... Um, I don't know what I was going to say then. I've got a lot to do. I've got lots of reels to edit. I've got more reels going out this evening. Um, I did upload one yesterday, which you can check out on my Instagram at LauraAbbeyX. I've also got it linked in my community tab if you don't know where to find it. Um, so yeah, I have got lots to do. I don't know what I was going to say when I said I'm not, I'm not not buzzy. Is that <laughs> maybe that's what I was trying to say? goodness knows um but yes i wish you all the most wonderful weekend i hope you're all excited for a nice relaxing weekend i've got to be social tomorrow i'm going out tomorrow so uh, yay um my social battery needs to be charged and it oh, will be well it'll be fine um but yes <laughs> i hope you guys enjoy the weekend i hope you all get your games to work i hope you have a nice relaxing time and i'll be back on monday with another speed build and yeah so if you haven't already, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, check out all of my links in my description. I have two giveaways and I have my affiliate link to Instant Gaming where you can access cheaper games and if you use my affiliate link, a percentage goes to the creator, in this case myself. Um, so if you want to support me and you want to get cheaper games, then it's a win-win. Highly recommend, they're completely safe for Xbox and... Um, Mac and PC for Sims games and they do have PlayStation games but not necessarily for Sims. Not too sure why. Um but yeah. So I wish you all the most wonderful weekend. As I said, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys on Monday. Thank you for watching. Bye lovelies. I know and I know and I know and I know you thought you'd see me cry again. Yes, I know, yes, I know, yes, I know, yes, I know you.
without you, without you.